Welcome back to Fox Tech Today. In this video, I'm going to talk about the world clock feature on your Apple Watch. This is a handy widget or function for many people, but sometimes you might want to remove it for a cleaner watch face or to simplify your app layout. Let's get into the details. The world clock on your Apple Watch lets you keep track of time in different parts of the world, which is especially useful if you frequently communicate with people in different time zones. This feature can either operate as a standalone app or show up as a complication on your watch face. But what if you wanna turn it off? You have a couple of options. You can either remove it from the watch face or delete the entire app altogether. First, let's discuss how to remove the world clock from your watch face. If you only wanna declutter your watch face and don't necessarily wanna get rid of the world clock app, this is the best option. Start by holding down on your watch face until you enter customization mode. Click on customize and navigate to the complication you want to replace. Tap on the world clock complication and select something else from the available features. Apple offers a variety of complications to choose from so you can easily find something that better suits your needs. Now, if you wanna take it a step further and delete the world clock app entirely, here's how you do it. Begin by accessing the all apps view on your Apple watch. Press and hold on any app until you enter edit mode, which you'll recognize because all the apps will start to shake. Find the world clock app and tap the small X icon that appears on it. Confirm that you want to delete the app and it will be removed from your watch. Don't worry if you change your mind later on. You can always reinstall the world clock app from the app store on your Apple watch without any hassle. Simply go to the app store, search for world clock and reinstall it. So there you have it. Whether you want to clean up your watch face by removing the world clock complication or delete the app entirely, it's a straightforward process. I hope you found this guide helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.